Yo, what's up, guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. We got a lot of new faces. So uh, what's up, everyone? What is an adjective that comes to your mind to describe the show? Riveting and intense. So we're intense. Dang, that was pretty quick. Uh, <laughs> definitely. I don't really know a bigger word than that. So this show has been absolutely crazy. Uh, cuckoo, if you know what I'm saying. Bananas. <laughs> right. And one question that I have for you guys, is there any money, like, is there any amount of money in the world that someone could give you to compete in something like the Squid Games? I know the obvious answer is probably going to be like, heck no, nah, dude, my my life is priceless. But is it though? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if you're 800 million in debt, you know? Um, so yeah. what's the amount of money that they would have to put in front of your face to make you compete in something as insane as this? And to be honest, this is the craziest like reality competition show I've ever seen. So For sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe one day in the future, they'll have stuff like this on the TV, which would be insane. But to be honest, I wouldn't really be surprised. But uh, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Hit us up on Patreon if you guys want to see the full uncut reaction. And I put on a hoodie, but it's hot as mess in here. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. All right, guys. Episode three, the man with the umbrella. Ella. 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 <laughs> Ella, hey, hey. Where's the music? What's his name? Oh, I closed my book for what? Jin Ho. And guys, I did go through and try to like practice the names and all that. Jin Ho. And learn them, yeah. And I wrote them down, see? Yikes. This guy has a brother in like mm -hmm. who was missing and he thinks he could be there, right? Yep, he saw that card. Yeah. Same card that he found on his brother's property. How many is that? Chief, I can't go to the station today. I'll contact you later. I wonder if Chief was just cool with it. You bold, bold. That's my dude right there. New favorite character. Oh my God. <laughs> Shipping them somewhere. Yeah, it was an island. Yeah, yeah. It looked like Jeff Probst was there. Previously on Squid Games. <laughs> She's okay. You don't jump go. Someone's ready to go to war, right? Jaksu? What do you mean? Remember he said he was ready to like sh shoot him up whenever um, the time comes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they found him, they just tossed him in the ocean. Kill him and take his mask. That's smart. That's oh, smart. that's tough. Oh. Good thing they're all busy. He's gonna have a hard time being so uniform though, because those dudes aren't even allowed to relax. They're bots. Yeah. They do look like them Among Us. Among Us. <laughs> look at them marching. And they look like that flying thing on Mario. A Oopa Troopa. The dude on the cloud who throws the hammers down. Yeah. So, I'm going to them. I'm going to meet them. I'm Evidence of a struggle. This creepy spot. Can't wait to go there. <laughs> I'm glad we're going there on this side of the TV. I was running out of shit to have nightmares about. <laughs> <laughs> Were you? Was that a pocket knife they slipped in her po pocket? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to abbreviate that. Mm. It's wartime, baby. 
영감님 어, 아, 정신이 드세요? <웃음> 자네 56번 예 아, 영영 가시는 줄 알아요 그렇게 쉽게 안 죽어 아 그럼요 <웃음> 영감님 덕분에 나갔다가 영감님 때문에 들어왔는데 먼저 가시면 안 되죠 Buddies EFF Well he doesn't have a dad right? Didn't he just have a mom? Mm-hmm. 많이 That we knew of. 돌아왔네 다들 힘들었나 봐요 야그애 이름도 못 지었다는 여자도 들어왔네요 아, 그러게 애 이름은 짓고 왔나? 기훈이 응. 형오 아, 상훈아 왔어? 안올줄 알았는데 그렇게 됐다 사장님들 오, 아, 상명의 원인 사장님들 아, 다시 만나서 반갑습니다 <웃음> 정말 감사합니다 네가 이 친구 차비를 안산까지 걸어서 간다길래 오늘만 <웃음> 아, 잠깐만 우리끼리 한번 뭉쳐서 해보는 건 어때? 앞으로 무슨 게임을 하게 될지도 모르고 I like a little alliance 여러 가지 경우를 right. 계획해서 그룹을 well, 형성하는 게 유리할 거야 At the end, 거야. what happens to the alliance? 그 you gotta survive 잡시다. to get there You gotta compete for three 장난이 like, 아니더라고 With three against three of them, probably 너도 봤지? 완전히 한 손으로 돌던데 같이 해요? 그쪽이 이등병 쫄다고 얘네 일 잘하는 상병 <웃음> 감사합니다, 사장님 그래, 사장님 소리는 좀 빼고 저기 괜찮으면 은 나도 좀 no. 끼워주겠나? <웃음> 아, 그럼요 고맙네. 야, 이거 우리 팀 구성이 아주 딱 맞게 떨어지네. <웃음> 다 잊고 받아줄 테니까 내 밑으로 들어와. 아직도 어제냐? 까불지 마. 네가 아무리 독해도 고다이로 지랄해봤자. I mean, no, I can't help you. This is the hard-ass team, and that's the wholesome team. Yeah. <웃음> 네 침대 걱정이나 해. 아저씨들, 이 새끼한테 붙지 마. 꼬붕들 주머니 털어서 집에 깨야. <웃음> 그러다 결국 강 커져서 혼댔다가 걸려서 입꼬리 됐다 이런 인간들을 우리 고향에서 뭐라고 부르는지 알아? A snake A monster 혁명적인 개새끼 <웃음> <웃음> 이런 빨갱이 씨발년이 <웃음> <웃음> 아니요 말씀 중에 sorry 뭐냐? <웃음> 응, 이 오빠 잘생겼네 <웃음> 나도 좀 껴주라 어딜 껴? 오빠 팀에 어. <웃음> 아직 뭐뭐 잘하는데? 못하는 거 빼곤 다 잘하지 이쪽 보는 언니보다 훨 쓸만할걸? 여러모로 오. 하지 마 그렇게 잘해 No, go join the other team <웃음> 밥 먹고 하자 How can he even be thinking about that? It might be the last time <웃음> Yeah, but like this is a stressful environment I don't even know if y'all get fed <웃음> Yeah, let's see <laughs> Smart girl. He's like, there's the escape. 201명 가운데 187명이 돌아왔습니다. 재참가율은 93%입니다. 돌아오지 않은 자들은 동영을 보고요. What if it's a game that never ends? That's some big brothers always watching stuff right there. Here, here's what I've been waiting for. What y'all got? Some bim bim bop. I'm smacking. 옛날 생각 나네. 영감님도 이런 도시락. 그럼 이 마누라가 아침마다 도시락 싸느라고. 바빴어 밥이 네? 아우 네. 가운데 난로가 있으면 그냥 딱 <웃음> 옛날 생각할 시간 있으면 다음에 무슨 게임 할지나 생각해봐 음. 야 그걸 생각한다고 아냐 뭐저 여태까지 한 걸로 보면은 하나가 아니겠어 아니 뭐 그런 건데요 그게 한두 가지도 아니고 땅 따먹기 비석 치기 술래잡기 돈가스 얼음땡 뭐가 있나 I knew about 35% of those Right I hope they don't have like double dutch Cause that would suck 이런 게임 안 하나 애들 게임 규칙 단순해 모르면 우리가 도와줄게 감사합니다 So everything's gonna be like a kid's game. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's so creepy. I just learned some Korean. Kanzamida. I even enjoy watching the interactions between people, like the facial expressions and stuff. Except for these guys, they just have circle heads. I can read them. <laughs> They're no good. He's like, let's return to my capsule. <laughs> It was too suspicious. Right, stay in your locker and mind your own business. Damn. And you have a camera watching you? Eventually you will, ma'am. Uh-oh. 
나도 가 남이 죽어라고 병기 닦아 놓으니까 그냥 낼름 올라왔네? <웃음> 너좀 거슬리는 스타일이야 Yeah, she's gotta go learn what's on what's yeah. going on back there. Mm -hmm. Right when you sneak in class and like the assignment started and you don't know what to do. <laughs> you're like, oh whoa. I was it don't take off your mask. Well how are they supposed to eat? Are they supposed to smack it in the circle? Think so a square is watching over the circles? <sighs> I was wondering if there was any significance to the order of the buttons on the PlayStation controller. Did she snuck something up there? Oh my gosh. Ugh. She had that hiding up there the whole time. Ugh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> If I was like end of a show, I would wish I was one of those like circles or triangles. It would be easy. I would never mess my lines up. They probably don't pay that well. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell anyone that was me. <laughs> She's so extra. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna make me mad because season two's not out yet and I'm gonna need answers by the end of this. Right, because what y'all brewing up? Some poison? What if that oh. makes him come in? <laughs> After what she just went through? <laughs> no shot. <laughs> A friend. <laughs> so yeah, square over circle. But the circle people don't really live a life either. <laughs> They're like in their own squid game. <laughs> <laughs> they, they drugged them and brought them there to kill them. She's talking about lawsuits for sexual harassment. <laughs> That's so creepy. Do you think it's from whipping that stuff up? Possibly. Or it was just some green jello for dinner. Oh. Robbie's so nervous because I wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> that woman's hell right there. I know. <laughs> Jin Ho is a no. <laughs> <laughs> you can't copy the neighbor because the neighbor's on to you.
That man's experiencing the ultimate conformity. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> that thing don't care. Sad hey. Or it the Abajante Mani Bazakisa. What kills you? Would you already go? Chana got a good. That's cute though. Why am I having a good time in this terrible place? Because the characters are so optimistic and like innocent in a way. And adorable. So and they're just trying their best. Google, where are you? No more. Tongue, no latch, man. More. Come, some with us, son. Well, look who's around at you, Chalba. <laughs> you drink your milk over there, boy. They hooked the recruit up, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, this is your hazing. <laughs> oh, he's nervous. Song Wu found the clue. Okay, last time. I don't think that was Song Wu though. Was that not him? I don't know. But Song Wu has glasses. But I thought he was in the circle saying focus without glasses. I don't know. 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 Like this. That was like Sesame Street or something, doesn't it? They even make it look like a kid's game is gonna be played there. Are they like on some cookies? Yeah, those cookies, those street food cookies. Is this the thing where you gotta like scrape it and try to get the shape out? What shape would you choose? Well, since I know the episode's called The Man with the Umbrella, the Umbrella. What about you? Damn, I'd have to see the shapes again. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm gonna go with that triangle. Probably triangle. You did. They're all going separate. He's gonna go umbrella. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna go umbrella. i i i because he wanted to, he wanted to tell him about that clue he found. I, I, that was him. I, he was laying in bed with his glasses on. I, no, I don't think that was him. I could be wrong, guys. Sorry. What if it like blows up on you? Dude, I'm like 30% sure I know what's about to happen. But I don't want to say anything. But I'll, I'll let you know if I was right. Yep. Oh, you have yep. to carve I've it out. I've played that before. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a game. That's not the same dude. He had a clue and didn't tell anyone. Umbrella's the hardest one. Yeah. That's why I picked triangle. Yeah. Because it's just, just wet the needle with your tongue. Because if you just... crack it, then you're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. 
what where you die oh my god that's what i'm saying just trace it over and over right so you think the second it cracks they just put a bullet in you Oh my Look, God. they're standing over them with guns. You should at least get three tries. <laughs> I, I've played this game before, but I'm not that type of person. So I was like, it's called Dalgona. And I just ate it. See, easy work. That song was 218. Don't, 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 don't do that, brother. No, no he's good. He's good. See? He's good. He's good. That looked good. Mm. Interesting strategy. Yep, smart man. Who's in there like that for real? That's that downward dog. That's what our dog does. <laughs> Look at him. Oh. <laughs> mm. oh. That would be me too. So you think that's the sugar they were melting down? Yeah. Was for this. To make these little sugar cookies. <laughs> And there's a rat in there because they're telling them see, someone's giving them a sugar cookie secret. Well, I think it's like on Survivor, you know, there's like hidden immunity idols and clues. I think it's the same thing if you're smart. In a... Ah! No, who was that? Oh, we don't know him. Dang. Why the stomach? I guess it's up to the individual. Like the show is low key wholesome in a weird way. Like it makes you feel good and happy, and then boom, it's just like the worst thing you've ever seen. Stress. In your life. Because now I have to sit here and worry about are they gonna do it? All of them. Even Jock Chu. <laughs> Who got a dang lighter? Is he not afraid to cheat? Like what? <gasps> Oh, yeah, down. So is this a hard game, do you think, for some? If you're out there going through like a withdrawal or something, like if you like have like a nicotine withdrawal or something, I'm sure it'd be tough. Or like a caffeine withdrawal. Good job, buddy. Yeah, that's good. I let down a little bit. Oh my god. I don't know if that was a strict judge. He could have took off points on that one. Yeah, that one went to review right there. Was the toe on the line? Nope. 73번, 성공. 네, 왜 벌써 들어왔지? 죄송합니다. 40번. 착각했습니다. 게임이 끝날 때까지 여기서 대기해. 뭘 착각했는지 그때 들어보지. 32번, 32번. So he was there in the wrong spot. <laughs> Dang, bro. <laughs> That's the bravest character in this whole damn thing. Because he's... Rachel. He's in it. To the left. 122번, 성공. 229번, 성공. Nice. <sighs> Dang, so he could have told him, don't choose the umbrella. And what makes it so hard is every time a gunshot goes, you jump. Yeah. Ugh. Dang. He was just speaking so highly of him. Back up, back up, back up. I don't know if that's like the best idea. Pretty smart. I feel like she's gonna get shot. <laughs> Just for existing. <laughs> right. They already don't like her. Oh my god. Oh, let's go. I would wonder how she got it like that though. <laughs> Bro, she is wild. Oh, 
Yeah, she's gonna join. She's definitely gonna join this team now. <laughs> Unorthodox, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pay him attention. <laughs> you think that's the kid way to do it? Uh, yeah, probably so. I just really need this to be over. Let's go. Nice. Oh my lord, he's got to get the playoff. Hopefully he can just pull it right out. Oh my. <laughs> he looks like a cat. <laughs> oh. Yay! And now everyone else is going to get shot, right? Four, five, six. Four, five, six. Man, I feel like even if it was the last second, I would just do my best. I'd just pull it out, start breaking it. I would hide too. I would hide it too. Because he was so close. There you go. There you go. Grab it. That's what I like to see. Oh, there's going to be consequences to the other players, probably. Leftovers. They look like they last half again. Mm -hmm. If he takes off his mask, they're gonna shoot him, probably. Yeah. No. Hmm. Oh my god, is that Jin Ho? No, it's not. Now he's going to have to die because he took his mask off without a superior telling him. He didn't even, like, flinch. His eyes didn't even move. Hey. Wow. So that was a clue. They're, they're young. Well, that guy was. I mean, I'd imagine you'd have to be young to get brainwashed into something like that. But then again, I don't know. These people are old and they're playing it. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Change his mask. That was crazy. So that was freaking, we're about to get into another episode, man. We always do double headers on TV shows over here in case you're new here. Very rarely will we do just one episode unless it's like really long. Or it's like, like nine 30. episodes a season like this one right here. Yeah, for sure. So uh, skip ahead if you guys want to hop right into the next episode. We're just going to share our thoughts about it. But um, crazy episode. We did get a lot of development in that. We learned a lot. We basically got a weasel on the inside. I use the word weasel because that's the, that's the phraseology. But we basically got a rat on the inside. But the rat happens to be the best character. The character with nuts the size of an SUV. <laughs> uh, that guy, Jin Ho, is a bad man. Uh, there's a lot of undercover missions that would be scary, but this dude is just, not only is this scary, this is like demonic and just And it's weird. just like so unnatural for him. That's why he had to like write down in his notes just like a broad little thing, a little three words that didn't make sense. But, you know, for him, it's going to be like, maybe though someone will find it if for him and help yeah, him out. Maybe. I'm glad that we do. And, and then we also figured out that there is a, a a ventilation system that can be used to spy so that to, like, actually figure helps. out the game next or right something. right oh yeah get like a step ahead of them. yeah right and then the the front man just said that was his name the front man he just said that remember once they find out who you are you die yeah it's almost like is that part of the game or something maybe okay so what i kind of got from it was there's the squid games which is like the games of the common people playing these little games right but then there's a, another game which is like just like following orders of like the circle and square people like it's kind of like that project i think there was like a project in the 90s or something where they like made people be cops and like they and made the people, people be cops yeah, and, and the prisoners. other people were prisoners yeah it kind of gives me that vibe like some they're watching that person to see how they but it's like life or death though but, but you know, yeah and that experiment extreme. and that experiment in case you don't know they were all just civilians but they the cops and the prisoners but the cops ended up treating the prisoners really bad and like talking down to them and then after like a week of it they legitimately like didn't like them they saw them as scum it was just like a i guess like a sociology experiment or something or yeah it's called something. something it's called the um, i can't the so-and-so experiment but yeah. uh but basically man everyone woke back up we saw how they arrived to the island mm. which was like by ferry well, knocked out 
I, I mentioned I got something else to have a nightmare about, bro. Like I'm telling you what the craziest concept I've seen in a long time was like a year or two, like maybe like a year ago, my son introduced me to something called the back rooms. Yeah. I'm, and that, that's crazy. old business to most people, I'm sure. But to me, that junk is trippy because I'm like one night when he was asleep, I put a video on. It was like 40 minutes and I watched this dude walk through the back rooms and it was just so that's weird. Scary. But anyways, I haven't really seen nothing that trippy since then. So we got to see how they arrived. We got to see the uniformity of the whole entire process um. because these guys guys right here i mean they are absolute they're soldiers in a way well yeah like, and that's kind of like when they said they were young that makes sense because when they're young they don't have a family like so that room that they were in just looked like nothing like a college like, dorm or something yeah well worse than that well, yeah, because worse, you can't yeah. even have personality in really it. it looked like a jail yes that's what it looked like so maybe they were even locked in maybe we can kind of maybe say some of them went to the military and that was like part of the mil maybe or maybe they're prisoners. Or maybe they're in trouble. Or, may and or maybe instead of serving pr prison yeah. sentences, they they do this. Who knows, man? Because why would you want to do that? Like, I don't think you could pay me enough to want to do that. Like, shoot people and keep them in line like that. That's just that's crazy. Right. I feel like when we did the game, we didn't use an umbrella, but we did use like a circle, square, uh, a star, and then it was like something else, like an octagon. I don't know, something like that. But um, well, umbrella. Well, that was something important though, because um, Song Wu could have told Jin. Jihan mm -hmm. that like don't use the umbrella like because he knew about the melted sugar so he knew he could have been like don't do that but he just let him go yeah but the question the question that I have is he knew about the clue but he was he he sought after the clue so he didn't he basically didn't put it in his mouth chew it and then say there's no, paper in it he knew it was gonna person, be there babe. Song Wu is not that person that was a different person yeah the guy with the glasses is not Song Wu well who was that Song Wu is number. Who's like, the guy with the glasses? Song Wu is like I don't know the guy with the glasses name. Well, the but guy Song with the glasses Wu is the one not, who found the clue, is he not? Right, but Song, I'm talking about Song Wu. He heard from the girl that they were melting sugar right before the thing. Guys, Mrs. October thinks that that's how he knows. I, I'm sorry, I know it's probably annoying people, but we'll figure it out. But I personally think Song, because Song Wu wears glasses. He always wore glasses, but when he was, yes, he did. He wore glasses in the Babe, first episode. Pause it for a second. Okay, so we did a little bit of diving back into the episode. I was wrong. It was Beyong Ji. I wrote his name down. Uh, the guy who found the clue. So that's on me. That's on me. I, my bad. It happened quick. But anyways, yeah. So he got he got like uh, some information, and then they pulled him. They pulled him apart. Remember when he was leaving? They said to the left. Yeah, they took they took him somewhere. So either he is like he, but he still looks scared. So it's like he's in the game. But he's getting like there's clues. something going on there. He got looks, the clues because he got the name of the clue, but I didn't know what that thing meant. He looks like a little rat a tatter, don't you think? Yeah, he's a little yeah, rat a tatter. A little rat a tatter. Um, crazy episode, man. We got to get into another one, and let's freaking go. Like the video, it really helps. Appreciate you. <laughs> yeah. Let's get into another one of these. Let's go. Okay, I'm never trusting the title again. Stick to the team. So are we sticking with the team or no? Which team? Abandon the team. I'm assuming it's the good team. Not the Delhi Viper squad over there. One, one, one. Covering up the footage, huh? Oh. Oh. <laughs> There's no way they can shoot that old man in this. They just can't. They better not. That's all I'm thinking. He's probably shot. Wow. Would you consider that a hard game? Trying to get it out of the cookie? Yeah. With those gunshots? Hell yeah. Absolutely, that's a hard game. Was the first one a hard game to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like these are not, they seem easy, but they're not. Let's go, baby. This is nerve wracking. I almost don't feel like you can win because how are you going to get all that money and then just be able to walk out into the world with it? Right. A sprite and an egg. She get Tanya. Okay. 
Are you gonna bully someone for another one? Excuse me. Y'all don't think they have the right number? Like the perfect amount of food yeah. to match up? They're so dang precise in here. Damn, I didn't know his character had such big lips. <laughs> <laughs> Things was luscious over there. Oh,저사람들이구원가져왔어요내가봤어요왜이씨발계속게이뭐처먹는걸쳐다보고지랄이야이당신들 <웃음> <laughs> I'm boiling there. That's a squid gang. <laughs> that guy never left night three, did he? <laughs> oh, a shank. <laughs> They're not even interfering. The circles? I guess that's not against the rules. Maybe it's like if you kill each other, that's, that's good for us. They keep order as long as they don't cross their boundaries. <laughs> It's gonna be really hard to like that character Yo, now. I take it back. Chill, Jihan. Maybe that's part of the experiment. Break them. Yeah. So if you start killing everyone, the prize money goes up. Oh my gosh. That makes it so much worse. Damn. Money just came in because he just. Oh, brother. Shoot. Oh. Yeah, kill them off and participate in the game by yourself, right? Wow, they're just a cabinet. I thought it was a coffin, but it's a cabinet. But you know what's crazy? They chose to come back. Damn. Look at him. He's like, oh, I just got a good idea. And, all won and they wonder what all those underground tunnels all over. At least all over the United States. I mean, there's 거기, millions of square foot of tunnels on the ground. Are they hurt? Oh, so they're using him? He's harvesting organs. They're using him to cut people open? Yeah, but like, why? We'll figure it out, but that's why he got the, the hint. Because I was wrong about that, by the way. Pre-agent. Recruiter. Yeah, Sumitsuke. i Balance an egg on a spoon. Wow. Wow. That's so sick. So they're intentionally causing like chaos. Mm -hmm. Oh. So you can't tell us that one. Come on. I probably wouldn't know it anyways. You would join them. They're the strongest. <laughs> Why? That's gonna come back and bite him right in the ass, I bet. You just signed with the devil. Where is he about to go? <laughs> I don't know, but the paint job in there is crazy. He's going to be so lost because what room is he going to go to? 
he's the odd man out in that group for sure. That's why they gave him glass bottles, probably too. Here's some shanks, guys. Got the night vision cameras in there. Heat signature. He's a dang boogeyman. <laughs> they're waiting to go straighten it up, probably, they but they're giving them time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is eliminated. Did they flip that over and do the white? This would be like horrible, dude. I know. It's the lighting. Oh. I know. Oh no. Why? This is so stressful. <laughs> I can't even tell who's getting it. No, I don't know that person. Yeah, he was an extra. Come on, cut the lights on. Cut the lights on. Oh my god, why? Let's go. Oh my god. They're taking metal bars and oh. I'll leave. Teammate. Where's Ilnam? Wow. I mean, this is just terrible. They're, they're weeding out the weaklings, they say. I bet it is expensive to pay all them. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of background people. Where is he? That was insane. Hold on now. Dang. That guy's a problem, man. I can't wait to see him go. Jump him. Ooh. I'm not against, I'm not for jumping, but he needs to be jumped. Did he call him Song Yidong? No. 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 Oh my. I think this was the most twisted episode yet. Yeah. I really do. Take his food for a week. I guess they insert him with like a little chip or something, obviously, right? Mm hmm. Probably something like one of their rivals. Mm hmm. First contact, baby. This place is crazy. <laugh음> <웃음> he loves telling everybody. Because he knows him. That's He's a like legend. His, that's, his, that's his claim to fame. He knows that guy. Yeah. <웃음> 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 이름 좋네. 늙은 사장님 이름이 뭡니까? 이름? You can't remember it. 내, 내 이름은 그러니까. Oh, and he told us last episode. <웃음> 형님, 아까 많이 무서우셨나 보다. 저도 요즘 스트레스 많이 받으면 집 까먹고 그래요. <웃음> Me too. 
당신 진짜 어디서 맞아? 안 믿으면 좋을 건다. 꽤 찌르진 않았으니까 괜찮을 거야. 여기서 나가면 다시 봐줄게. 쫄딱 망했구만. 나 여기서 나갈 거야. 저거 가지고. 예시 있기들 죽이라고 판 깔아줄 때는 언제 왜 시레리야. 게임이고 보고 그 전에 깨끗이 정리할 수 있었는데. 어머 인간들 싹. 다음 게임도 잘하고 나면. 그쵸? 의사 선생님? 됐어. They're not very curious, are they? I'd be asking, how do you know? Where have you been? 그래도 많이 줄였네. 스물일곱 명 줄인 건가? 맞지, 오빠? 오빠? 내가 진짜 오빠 맞아? 아닌 것 같은데. 아저씨, 내가 몇 살로 보여요? 마흔아홉. 더 써야 되는 건데. 서른아홉? 마지막 기회다. 열아홉? 빙고. 오빠 센스 있네. 맞췄으면. And she's just about to just go smoke. <laughs> 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 oh, <God. laughs> Whoever this actress is, I hope they pay her well, boy. Because <laughs> they put her out in this. She's wilding. Yeah. She's in the street. Y'all should get eliminated. It's kind of gross because he's just covered in random people's blood. <laughs> 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 Those circles on duty suck. Like, how can they get away with this right now? I don't, I don't think they care. They're probably watching them in there. Oh, true. Well, they didn't see old girl go up the vent. <laughs> yeah, true. I sense betrayal. Right, in the end, she's going to push him and make a move when Simon says stop. <laughs> She's gonna take the money. It don't sound the same when I say it. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Jocks is. I'm trying. <laughs> How'd you guys meet? We met in the Squid Games. That was grungy, wasn't it? <laughs> What? That man's smart as hell. Number 29's him. So they're on to him now. I think. Mm. This music is the most ominous, scary junk I've ever heard. How is she in such a good mood? Well, we know what she was doing. Ten hours in a team, we're going to do this. 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 We're going to do I never noticed that. I didn't either. He must have got caught stealing or something. That would suck. That would really suck. He looked at him like, what the hell? <laughs> well, he was like studying him. He's like, he's like, are you strong enough? I don't know. She said, if you betray me, I'll kill you. Why are you so sorry? I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. 
이번만 잠시 헤어졌다가 끝까지 같이 가자며 나 없이 정말 괜찮아? 나는 나이스! 아 씨, 이렇게 질척거리네 진짜 이씨 오빠 오빠야 어? 한 번만 더 오빠라고 치... 개새끼 이제야 본색이 나오시는구만 정덕수 씨발놈아 죽인다고 했다 우리 한민여 씨 오늘도 게임 잘해보세요 응? That was intense wasn't it? Damn. They just broke up. 뭐냐? 나랑 하자. They seem like the type to get back together. 하나, 둘, 셋, 아홉. 아니, 아무도 못 데려온 사람이 누구죠? 미안하네. Aww, it's okay. 불러서 왔어? No one would join 여기? up with him. 내가 남자들로만 모으자고 했지. 나 잘못 온 거야? 그럼 일어나고. 아, 아. No one, you like need her. 그냥 여기 앉아 있어요. 아니, 아직 뭘 할지도 모르잖아. 빨리 한명더 구해서 열명 쪽수부터 채우자고. 근데 누가 자진해서 오겠어? 팀다 정해지고 나면 오갈 데 없이 밀려난 인간이 오겠지. 밀려나게 누가 밀려나? 아, 내가 지금 오빠 돈을 럭키한 줄 알아. 아이. 이 삐쩍꾸른 애들보다 내가 훨씬 더 쓸만할 걸? 그리고 내가 못 하는 거 빼곤 다 잘할 거지. All right, there you go. 팀원 선정 시간이 끝났습니다. 모든 팀들은 Oh, Lord. Whatever it is, you have to be strong. You have to jump across that. Damn, that is tough. Oh, my Lord. Look how deep that is. Wow. Oh, they're gonna have to go, aren't they? Mostly because we don't know anyone on the team. That is crazy. Oh my gosh. I'd rather get shot. Oh my god, they have locks on their hands. I don't think I've ever won a tug of war. I'm always on the losing team. No. Wow. This is just too much, y'all. <laughs> this is crazy. Remember at that time when we were like, I hope this is a wholesome, good show. It's basically like Wipeout, except there's no water at the bottom. They're just gonna nail them in there anyways, aren't they? That's what I'm saying. They have to be monetizing this or something. Because even the coffins are like fancy. It's like they're for a show. Mm, no. Oh, y'all got them, Loki. We might be in trouble. <laughs> no, we got them. You can't, you can't just shove them off. You could. They got a long elevator ride. Mm -hmm. Yes. We got a legend, a tug of war legend. That was a fucking legend in Genali, yeah? <laughs> What's that's who we put in the front? Oh. <laughs> Maybe episode nine. Maybe episode nine I would do that. <laughs> Dang. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> This was absolutely insane. Yes. I just hate that they have to kill people to win. Right. I feel like they didn't sign up to kill people. Right. But if it's you or them, I get it. Oh, man. Oh, they're getting some back. 
<laughs> this side, this side. <laughs> ah! No. He's gonna have one more advice. And if all else fails, <laughs> you know. Get down on a knee. Oh my gosh. They're gonna fall. No, 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 no. Dude. Oh, crazy. man. So basically, dude. Pause it, because this is the next episode. Is it really? Yeah. Oh my God, I thought it was just messing with me. <laughs> oh my God. So basically, they're about to fall, and then hopefully they can just drag them off. But yeah. I don't even like to say hopefully they can drag them off. Because that's wanna, so sad. Uh, so basically, every single level is just going to be more messed up than the other at this point. Well, you know, I was starting to think that these were Probably. just like anyone could win, but this one right here, not just anyone could win. You have to be strategic, yeah, but also, yeah, not just anyone could win. You have to be strong, too. And then, but it really makes me wonder, like, if they're going through all this to do all this, like, why does the doctor get to come in and basically, like, destroy the integrity of the game? I don't know. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand that, but I guess we'll see. I get that he's, like, selling organs or something. That's well, I feel like, like if he is selling organs, then it's obviously for, like, a fiscal reason while they're keeping him. Or maybe it's even part of the game, too. Or, or they could just not make him part of the game, though. They could just come to him on the side and be like, hey, this is what we got. Come well, maybe us. it's also, I don't know, maybe it's adding you to get the what game. I'm saying, I don't though? know. I don't know. <laughs> maybe they want to have a little mole in there. But also have someone to help them because they want to have a mole because it makes it more interesting. What if one of the games is to find the mole? Yeah. Oh, my Lord. Um, so that episode was absolutely insane. Basically, uh, we had a we had a whole entire situation go down where everyone went to war, killed everyone. Uh, it eliminated a lot of players, made the prize pool go up. So that was disgusting, you know, but it, it was all calculated. Yeah. Yeah. So that's insane. And the next thing you know, we get to tug of war and girls are just screwed. Like that one was sort of like rigged for guys basically yeah. and they even said though the weaklings won't be able to make this one so it's crazy how they're psychologically messing with them too yeah like that makes it so much more interesting I, I just have to i feel like we could talk and talk but i just have to watch more because we didn't get a lot of like the relationship i mean other than the lady well they broke up yeah they so broke they up. had the <laughs> maybe the nastiest sex scene in the history of the world in the bathroom <laughs> stall um I was happy for him on some level. I'm like, hey, if this is what y'all want to do, go for it. But uh, and they ended up breaking up. He uh dumped her on the floor, <laughs> and she said, literally, uh, quite literally, he did that. <laughs> she said, I'm gonna burn all your stuff and throw it in the yard. And then he basically just gave her a whole palm palm to the face, and that's the end of that relationship. So she joined the other team. So now she's because I was wondering, she called him like an a hole in the beginning, and obviously she was just using him because she's just trying to like ride him to a victory or something. Yeah, well, she probably just needed his like little crew to have her back when things went south. Well, she is like she's so wild and neurotic that that's almost like her superpower. Mm -hmm. Instead of being super smart or whatever, she's just so like willing and bold. She and reminds she, me of my grandma so much because my she's just so blunt and wild. Like that's that what I'm saying. Yeah, like she just reminds me of that. I'm gonna tell your grandma. I'm gonna show your grandma who you compared her to <laughs> on the internet in front of all these people. <laughs> See how she feels about that. Yeah, she, she won't know what you're saying. <laughs> she's like, huh? <laughs> she ain't gonna know. And, she's a sweet lady though. Yeah. I don't think she understands the damn word I say. No. Anyways, <laughs> me uh, either though. So it's, it's all good. What does she always say? You're so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> no, she just tells you mahakita. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Anyways, uh, crazy episode for sure. Um, we definitely need to watch more. I need to know what's going on with what's his name, uh, Jinho. No, yeah, Jinho. So Jinho is basically he's being found out, right? Is well, yeah, because they give Morse code of his number. But when he was missing, and you know, when he was missing, I thought they would have like a whole search party because you can't just mi be missing and switch to the square mask. Like, you, you have think, to be right? on your task. They're I, so organized. Dude, I'm almost wondering, like, if they don't already know he's infiltrated. Right. And they're maybe, just keeping tabs on him. Yeah, maybe they just want to see how far he'll go or something. Maybe he's also part of the experiment. Like, when maybe, they got that, they were like, let's see what happens when we add a little sneak. Okay, so there's a concept of, like, they, okay, so if, if you have a prison, I don't know if this is true or not, but it's just what I've heard. But if you have a prison, you'll have someone that the warden and the officers won't know is hired, but mm. the state will hire someone to come in and try to break out of it. Or so they'll hire you to like try to just rob to a see bank. what you can. Yeah. Just, and maybe they know what he's doing. And then maybe they're just like, OK, well, just to see we have flaws in our security system. So this guy right here is ultimately going to like make it all the way to the end. And we think that he's going to be a hero and he's going to save it. But really, he's going to end up dead and we're going to like 
make sure in Squid Games 2 ain't nobody getting in. Right. You know what I mean? Like, like it's, a, the, it's like a crisis protocol. Like, they just are like, they're seeing what they need to do and then like acting accordingly. Oh, that's so creepy if you think of it like that. Right. Um, mm -mm. Crazy show. Crazy show for sure. Uh, we just need to watch more of it, man, because I feel like the more we peel back the layers, the more we'll really get an understanding of like what's going on. I mean, it could literally be like the guy in charge could be someone from a whole different country. He could be from Europe. He could just be like a businessman from Europe who just like made a deal with the government. You know right. what I mean? Like, I don't know. It could, it could really be that deep. So uh, I have a theory about Song Wu, though. Go ahead. What? So do you notice anything about him that's like kind of strange? Yeah, he's obviously very like standoffish. and He doesn't want to open up. To anybody. But do you feel like it's because he's maybe participated in the games before? And won? Like, that's what I kind of got the vibe. And then because, lied and said he went to school. But then, yeah. Well, no, nah, because you can't just open up a practice without the paper. Yeah, I don't think he ever did. Well, his character weirds me out because he said, well, the doctor was saying, this is uh, irrelevant, but I just want to say this before I forget. The doctor was saying that when he wins the money, he's going to open his practice back up. If, dude, if all you did was lose your practice, it's okay. Like, you, you can be poor. Like, you don't have to go. No, he thing. obviously did more than that. He's getting slapped by that guy. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Anyone, everyone in there is doing more than what they're saying. But what I'm saying, got, that guy slapping those people, nah, you didn't just lose your practice. Well, that's because of your value system. But what I'm saying is like, the reason you would have to pay me a lot of money to slap me is because it's not really about the money. It's about the fact that like, you're the type of person that would just let someone pay money to slap you. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I I'm feel, not getting slapped in public either. But like, some people don't care. Like if that guy's whole identity was the fact that he had a practice and he's a doctor and that's his whole entire like his whole entire world i mean like oh yeah knows? i mean yeah i see when you put it like that but i just feel like it takes a very hard like you did a whole lot to get slapped for some money you know what i'm saying like there's a lot of junk i would have to do to get slapped for money it just goes to show that there's just a lot of different personalities in this you can just tell like how everyone reacts differently and so yeah ways. like i don't know because you see because you see um say biak mm -hmm. biak i think the way, you know, we know she has like a brother or somebody who she like needs help to get custody of. Mm -hmm. So you just see how she's just to herself in those situations. Whereas like Jin Ji Hun or the main character, he like, you know, we know what he's like outside of this. And we see how he just like in the game, he's still like a happy go lucky. Like he's like making jokes, trying to be friends with everyone. Yeah. It, it's it's I mean, interesting how everyone's taking it. Yeah. But but in the outside world, he was like a hellion who was like horse racing and gambling and yeah i don't know he's like kind of actually has like a heart here i mean i guess we saw with the cat but you know what i'm saying i mean i guess this is like the ultimate form of gambling so this is just the pinnacle of his like petulation i guess right Jeez. um there's probably so much junk that we're missing man let's be real but one thing i will say is we'll watch these episodes back like with the editing and then we'll watch them back like before we put them on youtube and stuff and there's going to be so many light bulbs that go off and be like, did you know this? Did you miss this? And there's always little stuff like that. So feel free to let us know in the comments what we missed. Um, so that way we can know exactly what to look for moving forward. Well, babe, that's why I'm kind of bringing up Song Woo because if you notice him, he always has this like he's off seeming like he already knows what's to come, I guess. Well, I was thinking the same thing of the old man. Like the old yeah, man. Yeah, the old man too. Maybe he forgot he played it before or something. I don't know. Well... That begs the question, like, the old man makes it seem like he just wanted one last adventure, but it's like, you made it that late in your life, like, how do they know you're even a candidate? Like, is he that in debt? You know what I mean? He yeah, but happy. he doesn't even seem like he, you know what I'm saying? He He's probably friend. like a multimillionaire outside of the game. Yeah, that's so weird. He probably did well in life. But I know what you mean, like, he does have, like, his whole, you know, I don't really want to... It's basically like he's hiding his intentions. Like he he feels guilty if he like stirs up in the conversation because everyone's sitting there having a good time, trying to be like wholesome with each other and human with each other. Right. But he's obviously hiding something. But right. I, I don't know. It what. could. But it could. You're right. Now that you're saying that, it could just be because you know he he knew about what the umbrella thing. He mm -hmm. could have told him don't pick that, but he didn't. So like maybe he just doesn't because well, he, did he know about that. Though? That's the thing. Maybe he knows the ending and he knows like if you get close to someone, you're gonna have to kill them or something. Like, that's just the hunch I kind of have. About oh, you think it's going to come down to like. Like, you know, at the beginning of the Squid Games, it was like very hands on one on one. That's why they built. That's why they manipulated the game to make everyone have like a like a turf war, because yeah. that's how you really get close to someone. So how can you betray someone who you fought side by side to death with? Right. Right. And so maybe ultimately it's going to come down to like, 
What if it comes down to freaking Jihan taking out player one? Yeah, I know. Or something like that. I, I, I kind of got the hunch, like, maybe it will be them three and they will have to, like, fight the other people and they'll team up and fight them together. I don't know, man. That's just my prediction. I just don't think the ending is going to be... I feel like if I can predict the ending, it's probably going to be crazier. Right. That, well, that, if I did predict it, But I, I'm just thinking that they'll their relationship bonds will form so tightly. Like, we'll have to lose some people. But they'll form so tightly that the money won't even be a thing, in my opinion. But I could be wrong. Well, what could you do in that situation, though? I feel like just, th they you, could, they're going to buck the system somehow. They're going to figure it out. Refuse to fight? Or team up and, like, figure something out. <laughs> well, I hope so. <laughs> I hope that's I hope, how it ends. Because I hope it's not like they kill everybody and then season two is a whole new... Well, I don't even, you know, what I'm I don't even know if they're going to be done with the games by the time season two gets here. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, they're dropping like flies, baby. I don't know. Like, it could be like, all right, it could be like the whole entire season could come down to like the grand finale and then the season could end. And then we could start season two with all new players. The, no, the opening of the grand finale. Oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. The ramifications. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. who knows how how deep the story goes? Because so far, other than in episode two, we've been well, in episode one early on. But in episode two, we spent a lot of time outside of the game, but we've been in the game ever since. Mm -hmm. So. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's going to be weird to, like, leave the game. Like, if there's, like, cutback scenes or, like, outside characters, like, back in the city, it's just going to be weird to see because, like I said, we've just been stuck in this underground facility. Mm -hmm. I think what you're saying is there's a few little points that I really need to look out for. Why in the world is uh, Song Wu so distant? Yeah. Did he play the game before? Did he win? Something like that. Because they remember, though, Song Wu, when him, him and Jihan were outside, uh, remember their, how close they were until Song Wu got busted? Like, they were pretty tight. He's like, what you doing out here? Like, I get fish from your mom, you know. They kind of have, like, a good relationship. But now they he just, like, acts like he knows him. But it's not returned. It's, like, weird. Well, maybe there's something to it. Maybe he, maybe it's just a personality thing. Or maybe it's the ego thing. Well, maybe it's just a personality thing. Maybe, like, right. just being there. Maybe he's just so distressed that he just has a hard time, like, being around. Like, maybe he's just got so much going on in his mental. He just can't focus on anything. Right. Other than what he's got going on in his mental. I mean, that is a real thing. Yeah. But I don't know. It would be a lot cooler if he was... But there, there's got to be something there, though, because yeah. they're making it obvious. And then the second thing is, why is the doctor able to bypass the rules of the game and essentially get a cheat code? Or yeah, because why hints? is he even in the like like you said? Why is he even in there if they're gonna if they're using him? It seems like they would just be like, hey, come work for us when we bring you the bodies. You just harvest the organs. Okay, cool. But like, why is he competing in it? Maybe he said no. And right. maybe that I, I don't know. Or maybe how know. immoral is it for you as a doctor to know? For, and why? And first of all, you probably have. Maybe they always take a doctor, and then they have to kill him off because if you know about this stuff, are you just gonna go out there in the world like you can't? Exactly. So that's my second question. Is yeah. Why? Why is he getting special privileges? Um. They probably. I really think maybe every Squid Game that they have, or maybe this first one, or I don't know. Maybe they might have to just kill that doctor off and be like. Gotta go, bro. So you think maybe they... Oh, I see what you're saying. Because you can't go out into the world They after put a that. doctor into the game. They're like, hey, buddy, we'll help you out if you harvest these organs and make us a lot of money. And they're like, okay, cool. And then one day, like, all right, here's the very last organ. I'm going to go back to the game now. And then they just shoot you in the yeah. back because the game's about to be over. I see what you're saying. So that's another question. The third question that I have is... Um, well, obviously, who is who is the, the game leader? Who's the guy who's controlling the game? Where is he from? Uh, what? Where is his like origin? You know what I'm saying? Because he's like this. Uh, Luscious Lucius over there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, and then another question is: If you win the game, how do you how do you go into society? Do they have to like brainwash? Basically, y'all so got an IRS over there. Do y'all not have an IRS? Because if my ass walked out, walked out, if I disappeared for like two weeks and then I came out with like all that money, oh, they're. I, after I don't me. think you win the game. I, I really don't. I think in the end. They see how much they can push you for money, and then <laughs> you and then buy they put that same money in the same pot for the next, next round. round. <laughs> I don't know because man. then because really, how are you going to go into society after these games? You don't. Do you think it's possible that it's a lottery system? What if it's a lottery system? Like what if what if people with a lot of money bet on? What if they bet on it the same way he was betting on the horses? What if they bet on it to get those people's organs? Or something. I feel like I was getting somewhere with that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I was on something. So maybe. <laughs> maybe they pick a number. The number. Like, for example, I would be like, number four, five, six is going to win. 
Right. Well, yeah, exactly. Number four, maybe, that big re- number four <laughs> right, when we watched Get Out, you know how all the super rich people were invited to the uh-huh. auction? Maybe there's betters and they're super fancy, sophisticated types. And and they basically bet extremely large sums of money. But the house always wins because obviously they rig it in their favor. So if if all the money's on like a girl, they'll put like a tug of war game. Right. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so maybe like the house always wins. And it's basically like it's basically the equivalent of like a casino on like. But not, like, not like a casino on a reservation. But like the but craziest like, way to bet. It's like, ugh. I don't even know. I, I don't even know. But I'm just coming up with theories here. Um, Maybe it's like the betters are betting on the betters. Because those people are betters of some sort in there. Whatever. I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, I'm just talking crazy at this point. But you know what I'm saying? Like that. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's as simple as, hey, Doc, would you like to come back to the games? No, I don't want to get shot. Well, that's great. But. Not only will you get to keep a percentage of the organs that you harvest because we want you to harvest organs, then not only that, we're going to give you uh, some some like ex- actually some incredibly useful information that's going to help propel yourself towards the end of this game. And then maybe you think to yourself like it's kid games and I have an advantage. So how could I lose? Right. Right. And then so maybe it's really that simple, but I don't know, man, but we're going to figure it out because we're going to be back with more squid games. hundred percent. So is there anything else that we need to address? No, but I have fun. This, this show is awesome. <laughs> How I feel about it. I feel like, uh, so when it comes to putting stuff like this on TV, like it is incredibly dark. So a part of me feels like it'd probably be a better world if we didn't put stuff like this on TV, but that's not the world we live in. But I think the show is absolutely enamoring. I understand it's probably hard to watch to a lot of people. Cause you know, this is some like, it's not real life stuff, but you know, it's just, but at the same time, uh, it's just a crazy show and it's thrilling and I'm having fun watching it. Yeah, me too. I feel kind of weird saying I'm having fun watching it. It's kind of like... Just watching you, Mass Murder, but yeah, it's fun watching. <laughs> it's bizarre. I mean, if there wasn't such an interesting mystery, it's basically a psychological thriller mixed in with some horrific violence. So, right. You know. All right, guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. We post whenever we can get them out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> as much as we can. Like, at least like three times a week. At least. At least. So... Uh, and we record all the time on Patreon, at least maybe like four, probably five times a week, every week. So if you guys want to join us over there, it's just patreon.com slash You can get the full uncut, raw, extended reactions, and you don't have to sync it up or anything like that. And we'll be back with the next episode of Squid Games. Peace.